The New Jersey Alliance for Clinical and Translational Science is committed to advancing clinical and translational science to develop new therapies and treatments and improve health and healthcare in New Jersey. The New Jersey ACTS structure is made up of core areas that provide the expertise and the structure needed to accomplish these goals. The informatics core offers services that integrate, enhance, and expand data from disparate clinical and research sources for researchers, as well as augments analytical capabilities and training across the entire research enterprise. The informatics core is led by Drs. Frank Sonnenberg, David Ferran, R. Von Osen, Stephen Crystal, and Yi Chen. The primary mission of the informatics core is to ensure that New Jersey ACTS and its collaborators have access to rich, state-of-the-art, health-relevant data sources and to actively develop a research data ecosystem that provides the data, resources, analytic tools, expertise, and training to New Jersey ACTS researchers across the entire clinical and research community. To achieve these objectives, our team is establishing the procedures, protocols, and workflows to integrate data from disparate clinical research and public sources. Expanding our clinical research data warehouse in a protected environment that makes linked data accessible to researchers, providing a platform for informatics science training across the workforce continuum, expanding our analytical capabilities by including large administrative data sets, and providing expert services to the user community. Our team is currently in the process of establishing a digital badging and certification program in informatics. This training will be offered to students, residents, and physicians to provide them with core competencies and skills in data analytics. Topics will include natural language processing, interpretation of genomic data, and reports and principles of data mining and machine learning. Although our team has made significant progress across a range of different initiatives and projects and programs, a flagship project has been the design, development and implementation of a state-of-the-art clinical data warehouse that can reliably integrate data arising from electronic medical records, clinical trial management systems, tumor registries, biospecimen repositories, radiology and pathology archives, and next generation sequencing devices. To maximize the scalability of the warehouse to support a wide range of medical subspecialties and data analytic projects in population sciences and precision medicine, we have formalized an agreement with the senior administration at Rutgers to migrate the warehouse into a university supported data center where it will serve as an enterprise wide resource with direct access to high performance computing. This slide shows a high level diagram of how the CRDW will be integrated with the new enterprise wide EPIC system. Prominent in the diagram is direct connection of the warehouse to EPIC, rendered in red, and a bi directional connection for transmitting genomic information. 
Through a close collaboration with Google Healthcare, our team successfully created and tested an instance of the warehouse on the Google platform and demonstrated its scalability using cloud-based data mining features. The platform is currently undergoing integration with several key building blocks, including advanced pattern matching tools, machine learning methods, and a large scale storage repository. To support the planning and development of these resources, one single overarching data governance council was established and charged to guide the methods used for gathering, accessing, and sharing the data at Rutgers and across the entire healthcare consortium. Operational guidelines for the Data Governance Council and CRDW have been introduced into a legal agreement that has been approved by both Rutgers and our entire hospital system. Through a collaboration with Dr. Barr von Osen, we are building a secure, protected environment to support state-of-the-art artificial intelligence and machine learning and analytic pipelines that can be executed through persistent, ready access to high-performance computing and cloud technologies. Using these assets, we hope to accelerate the pace of developing and optimizing computational algorithms for clinical and translational research. Leveraging these resources, our team has already begun to investigate the use of integrated histogenomic signatures to predict disease recurrence in patients presenting with Gleason score seven prostate cancer. These studies have demonstrated that the use of computational biomarkers generated by combining genomic and imaging signatures using a deep neural network showed improvement in predicting recurrence as compared to using PSA and standard histologic features alone. In an attempt to address the issue that there still remains limited availability of COVID-19 laboratory, laboratory based test kits with many developing countries throughout the world, our team and several other investigators have begun to explore the use of local weighted mean phase angle, phase energy, and energy attenuation as the primary CXR image features that are fed into a multi-layered convolutional neural network as a means to address this challenge. We have performed on publicly available data sets consisting of more than 18,000 CXR scans, analysis which showed 87% average accuracy. As an extension of this project, we are expanding the study using data in radiology originating from Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital EMR and imaging data through a collaboration with doctors Jason Fleischer at Princeton and doctors Martin Blazer and John Nosher here at Robert Wood Johnson. In spite of some of the negative effects of the pandemic, significant progress has been made and the CRDW has already been featured in a range of publications and presentations. I have included here some of the most recent. The CRDW has also been leveraged to establish collaborations and has given rise to some new projects and funding opportunities. For example, we have already capitalized on the open architecture of the CRDW to support the UH3 and UG3 phases of our joint project with Stony Brook Medical 
to develop and deploy next generation computational data mining and AI tools to state cancer registries in Georgia, Kentucky, New Jersey, and New York. Also, a collaboration with Boston VA Health System was initiated to establish a clinical repository and workflow to allow investigators at multiple institutions to manage and share non-small cell lung cancer data, including pathology, radiology, and genomics. Working with investigators from NJIT, doctors Yi and Ferran have received seed funding from the CTSA to develop automated natural language processing algorithms for extracting cancer biomarkers from pathology reports using a prototype system called CBX that utilizes advanced neural networks to process unstructured documents. The warehouse was also used to support a supplement to the Cancer Center parent grant to implement a screening process to scan electronic medical records to identify tobacco use status of patients, including frequency, duration, and products used, and then automatically send that information to a referral system. Through a collaboration with the Global Health Institute at Rutgers, we submitted a supplement proposal with Rick Morland to develop a point of care breast cancer screening and data management system in Botswana. And we've also completed submission of a D43 grant to support our efforts in Botswana and Nairobi. Other active projects that are reliant upon the CRDW are the development of a web-based portal for tracking and reporting clinical genomics results in collaboration with the Department of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine at Barnabas, development of a new data model to support harmonization of COVID-19 data among investigators at a consortium of clinical sites at NYU, UPenn, and Rutgers. We have also utilized the CRDW to refine and optimize a suite of bioinformatics tools to facilitate interpretation of clinical grade tumor sequence data. This work was proposed as part of a pending U01 grant application with Drs. Hossein Kiabanyan and Sridhar Ganesan. And now that the data use agreement with Barnabas has been finalized, we are focused on making the CRDW and analytic services available to the clinical and research community. So working with the EPIC, OIT, and Barnabas teams, we have developed the means for routinely and securely transferring data from the new EHR into the warehouse and capturing those data elements, including genomics, digital pathology, radiology, and information arising from unstructured data so that they can be used in a broader range of application areas. At this time, we are actively developing an interactive portal through which investigators will be able to submit requests for data and analytic services while billing and accounting are managed through back office applications. For more information on New Jersey Act's Biomedical Informatics Corps, please see newjerseyacts.rbhs.rutgers.edu slash investigator resources slash informatics services overview. Thank you very much.